Hi guys, Indigo Priestess here. Hope everybody's feeling blessed and living their best life. If you don't know me, I am a spellcaster. I teach people how to connect with the 72 Gawasha, how to connect with the higher self, how to manifest, how to make a pact with an entity. Um, one on one consultations, three day life. Um, live coaching. I offer so much more. My information is in the description box. I hope everybody's doing well and feeling blessed and just living their best life. If you're not, you've come to the right channel. Indigo Priestess, welcome. Official Indigo Priestess. So I wanted to just, you know, let people know what exactly my experiences were when it came to connecting with King Belial. Um, a lot of you who know me know that I have a father-daughter relationship with this beautiful, amazing entity. Okay, it was one of my first contacts when I came to this path many years ago. He has appeared through scrying mirrors. He has physically appeared in my bedroom. He has visited me in dreams. One of the most amazing experiences were my first visitation. I remember feeling complete fear of the unknown. Complete fear. And that fear was soon followed by peace, by a match in frequency, where I felt like we are connecting as one on a spiritual level. And then I felt primal energy. I knew at that point it was um, King Bilal's energy. It was extremely primal. Soon I became that primal energy. Soon I was hissing. I was, you know, animalistic in my invocation. I, I was completely, I wasn't Bianca. I was a, 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 a primal individual. That's the only way. It's the darkest point, part of me that came out during invocation. And I remember just biting my lip, I, just feeling that magnetic energy, feeling the strongest part of who I actually am. And that I'm not programmed. I'm not the person that, you know, that was programmed. Like everybody else, we were all programmed to be the person that we are. And King Bilal showed me that is not who I am. You know? I soon felt sexual energy. A lot of you know when you invoke entities that sexual energy is prone to come in as well, which is a natural part of who we are and we shouldn't be ashamed of it. I, I, I knew at that point that this was like, it was too fast. It was too quick. It could not have just been all my emotions. <clears throat> Sorry. And what you realize when you connect with entities, the more you do it, the more you become like them, the more you um, develop the energy. You, 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 you pull some of the energy, they pull some of yours. And who doesn't mind pulling and, and getting some of the energy of an ancient god? These beings are at a very high vibration. They're also very primal, which can also help you to stand up for yourself in this lifetime where people generally take advantage of others, okay? So it was an amazing opportunity to feel his uh, energy and um, to feel that, that fear followed by peace, then the primal dangerous energy, then the sexual energy, then the message. What I always do, sorry um, guys, my, my kid is in the other room and he, um, yeah, he has a cold and he gave me the cold. I'm sure you guys can hear on my voice. So yeah, the primal energy, you know, was shown to me. And at that point, I felt complete weakness within, with myself. Every part of me that needed to change was exposed. And I knew at that point that this beautiful entity was showing me what I needed to work on, what needed to be fixed. And basically not necessarily even fixed because as I say, we're not broken. But what needed to be changed in order to see a different cycle of what I truly desired in my life happen. And one thing I can say with when you are connecting with, an, with ancient gods, with demons, is that 
it doesn't mean that you are not going to come across experiences that are going to be negative in feeling, but not necessarily negative when it comes to the outcome. They do teach us and they guide us. So sometimes they're going to bring people into our lives that is not the best, but that is going to show us what needs to change within us because we attract who we truly are on the inside. So if you are attracting rubbish, it's telling you what needs to change within you. And this is all that the, what the ancient gods have taught me, and especially King Bilal. They've also taught me how to manifest and that we are all gods and goddesses. Nothing is impossible. Everything is possible. If there's something you desire, you can bring it forward. You can bring it towards you. So yes, my experience with King Bilal has always been beautiful. A lot of you know that he is very mischievous as well, very sneaky. But if you have a close relationship with him, you don't need to worry about those things. Because <clears throat> it's like having a sibling or a dad or, or a mom that's just really naughty on the side, you know. Um, but they are good to you and that's all that matters. I, I must say working and having a genuine relationship with Kim Bilal has helped me to also be very understanding towards others out there. But not just very understanding, but it's also helped me to be strong in my yeses and my noes. To not allow people that are negative in energy to come close to me and to try and influence my life and my, um, my purpose of what I'm supposed to do, which is to teach people and heal people. We all have purposes and the one thing that I loved about connecting with Kim Bilal and the other ancient gods was that they show me each and every day what my purpose is. But I did not just get here by chance, I got here through lessons, through hardships, um, okay? We call it hardships, we call it trials and error, but it's actually a beautiful experience because it gets us to our higher self, to the point where we can teach. So guys, I'm going to leave that bit of information with you. I'll make a lot more content on my experiences. I just wanted to share this one with you all. If you need to get, again, um, excuse my son in the background, um, we just recovering from a cold. And you know, when your kids are at daycare, um, they bring all sorts of germs home. So <laughs> it's um, yeah, mild cold. I'm just happy that I can be here. Uh, um, love to you all. If you need to contact me, my information is in the description box. Bye for now.